Hey guys, it's Tina here. Welcome back to another episode of Tina Tries It. In today's episode, I'll be trying out these really weird wrapping rubber masks. If you haven't already, make sure you click subscribe below to stay updated with future videos. Now in the previous episode of Tina Tries It, where I tried that weird exfoliating peeling pad, at the end of the video, I asked you guys to vote on which product you want to see next. And a lot of you voted for these weird rubber masks. I have two here with me today, but I'm gonna try this one, the yellow one. This one is the Dr. Jart Rubber Mask Bright Lover. It's a brightening wrapping rubber mask, which helps to keep all the active ingredients from evaporating and helps to soothe and brighten the skin. The packaging kinda looks freaky and it reminds you of the Jabberwockies, but the mask actually comes in two pieces, so it doesn't actually look like this on the box. Now I bought these from Sephora in Australia and it cost me about I think it was 18 or $19 and there's only one sheet in this. So it is pretty expensive. I saw Tati try it out on her channel with her husband and it does look pretty like gooey and freaky, but uh, I'm excited to try it out today. They tried, I think the blue and the pink one. So today I'm gonna try the yellow one to see if there's any difference. So let's open it. Ah, it's so well packaged. Inside there is one rubber mask and on the package it also comes with an ampule so I'm just gonna pop that out. And this is the ampule that you apply on before you put on the rubber mask. It says here it's the Bright Intensive Ampule Pack. It kind of looks like butter to me. You know when you go to the hotels or you're on the plane and you get butter and it totally looks like this. So on the back of the mask it says apply the Intensive Ampule Pack, this one, onto the clean and dry face. Strip the film, line away and apply rubber mask, that's step two. Adjusting around the eyes and mouth, do not overlap the upper and lower sheets. Okay. Leave on for 30 to 40 minutes, remove mask and gently pat remaining ampule until fully absorbed. Okay, fair enough, sounds pretty easy. Pretty unique because most masks you just put it on but this has two steps, so I'm gonna do that. First, I need to sort out these little hairs. I don't want any of you guys feeling anxious watching me do this and getting it all over my hair. I look like Bam Bam. Is it Bam Bam from the Flintstones? Okay, so step one, I'm gonna put this butter on my face. I mean, ampule. It's actually really hard to open. Inside is just all white. It probably looks empty to you, but the ampule itself is just all white, just like the packaging. The consistency is kind of like gluggy and gooey, and there's not like a heap of it. It's kind of like just half of this um, packet. It's not even filled up to the brim. So I'm just gonna use my fingers to apply it on with. This smells, it smells like lemon or oranges or something citrusy. I'm gonna apply this all over. So far, so good. It doesn't irritate my skin or anything, or at least I don't feel it yet. I still have a lot left, actually. I guess that's why they don't give you a whole lot of it. You don't need a lot. Oh, I dropped it. Ooh. Okay, it's getting pretty thick. And there's still more left. It doesn't look so great. Step one is done. Now I'm going to open the rubber mask. Man, these, these are all so hard to rip open. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I think mine kind of like slid apart. Let's, let's wait, let me just try to get the top piece first. So here is the top piece. It just, it just it's just rubber. It's like a thin layer of rubber. It almost feels like cheese or ham. I think more like ham, it's got that ham consistency. And to be honest, I thought the mask would be a bright yellow because of the packaging, but this is a very pale yellow, almost white looking. So there's actually like no product on this mask. It's just a rubber mask. Is that, is that straight? That is not straight. I'm trying to get it as straight as possible. It's very cooling on the skin. It's very cold, this mask. This is the bottom piece. Whoop. Let's go again. This is the bottom piece. It's got, oh, is that a tear? That's okay. I'm gonna pop it on. And it said like not to overlap it, but my face isn't that big, so I think I have to overlap it. 
Okay, so I have both pieces on. I know it said not to overlap, but I, my face isn't actually big enough. I think it will hang off if I don't overlap it. So I did what it told me not to and I overlapped it. And I'm just looking at myself in the monitor below and I look like that horror movie, what's it? Freddy versus Jason. I just feel like this part is not staying. It just wants to come off. I'm gonna try to fix this. I'm gonna put some of that ampule, whatever's left. Stick it, oh no, my hair is in it. Someone's gonna comment and say something. So it's gonna... This is a disaster. This mask does not stay on. Maybe that's why you're not supposed to overlap it. Oh man. This is that. Okay, fine. I'm gonna try to not overlap this because I feel like that could be the reason why it's peeling. It doesn't want to stay. <laughs> this isn't looking too good. Okay. <laughs> now all I have to do is wait 30 to 40 minutes. This is not working. I'm so frustrated. I'm gonna Hulk smash it. I'm so like mad. Come on, just stay. I'm just gonna hold it until I stop speaking. Okay, like I said before, I'm gonna wait for about 30 to 40 minutes. 40 minutes is actually a long time. I'm just gonna wait 30 minutes and then take this mask off or let it just take itself off. I'm back, it's been half an hour or a bit over half an hour, maybe like 35 minutes. And during that time, I decided to put the other mask on Alfred and I am so angry. It came out and it's like all damaged. It's like a hole here. It came out ripped here. It's not like my nail ripped it. It just came out ripped. And the actual mask is like different colors. I thought it'd be pink all over, but this is like white and then pink. And also this rubber mask stinks. It Ugh. doesn't smell very natural. It doesn't smell very natural whatsoever. It smells really chemically. It smells like rubber. It smells somewhat toxic and I cannot wait to take it off. Can I take it off? Let's count one, two, three and let's take it off. One, two, three. Oh, just dropped it. Oh, yours looks like ham. His one looks like ham and mine looks like cheese. The rubber mask just tears off really easily. It's really flimsy. Okay, I kicked Alfred out and back to being solo. Um, there is a lot of that ampule serum left. There's a lot of it. And like I said in the packet, you just gotta like massage it through or like pat it in. Oh, it stinks. Before the ampule, it smelled nice, but because I put the rubber mask on, it just really stinks. Okay, let's make it work. Let's make it work. Just gonna pat it in. Okay, I did my best to pat this thing in. It just takes forever for my skin to absorb because it's actually quite thick. It's, it's really sticky and it just really stinks. I don't really like this at all. Ugh. Before it smelled nice until I put this freaking rubber cheese on it. It just does not smell nice anymore. Okay, put that aside. Let's talk about how my skin feels. It feels nice and cool, which is good. Um, I can't really feel the actual texture of my skin because it's really sticky at the moment. It does look like a bit brighter. I say like, I would say it's kind of brought down the redness around my nose a little bit. Is it worth the money? Is it worth $18? I don't know. I don't think so. You know when your mum says if you have nothing nice to say, just don't say it? Well, I'm going to say it anyway. I hate that mask. It is... It's, it's not a great mask. I've used way cheaper masks that didn't break, that don't stink, that give me better results than this. And I'm just really disappointed, especially because Dr. Jart is a very well-known brand and it's not like I just bought it on eBay. I got it from Sephora. If Sephora stocks it, it has to be like somewhat of a decent brand, but this product itself, it's just, it's just bad. Not good, especially for $18. I just feel really mad that Alfred's one was just really damaged and it just was just, just crap. Am I allowed to say that? Am I allowed to say that? Well, it's my channel, I said it. 
I'm trying to think of something nice to say about this product and I'm finding it really difficult to find anything nice to say about it. I think I would have preferred if it was just like a normal woven mask with the same ampule in it. Right now it just feels really thick on my skin. You can't go out and just like, I don't think you can go put makeup on top of this. So if you wanted to use this mask, it's probably best to use it at night. I guess the only good thing about it is that I would probably say it's good for all skin types because it doesn't irritate your skin. It feels disgusting on your skin, but it doesn't irritate it. And it does give you a little bit of a brightening effect, but so do other masks. This one's just not worth it. Should I even rate this mask? I feel really like conflicted because it's a good brand. Generally, they do good stuff. This is just a flop for me though. Let's just say this mask is definitely below a four out of 10 for me. Let's just, let's just leave it at that. If you don't have nothing nice to say, don't say, but I said some of it anyway, so I don't know. Anyways, let's move on and vote for next week's products. I have two products here and I'll leave a poll so you guys can vote for which one you wanna see next on my Tina Tries It series. First one is this mask. I guess it's a mask, I'm not really sure. I got it from Japan and honestly, to be honest, I don't really understand what it is, but I believe you put your face in this water and it bubbles and it's supposed to have some sort of skincare benefits. The next product is this product. I love the packaging of that. I lo look at her face, look at that, look at her face. Amazing. Do you guys remember when I did that armpit whitening product? This is kind of like something like that, but you can use it on your knees, your elbows, any like dark areas. And it foams up and you can, I guess it just exfoliates your skin in 90 seconds. And it's quite funny because I think like that company thinks I have a serious problem with my armpits or my knees or my elbows because they sent me a lot of this. So if you want to see this product, please vote for it. And yeah, that's it to this episode of Tina Tries It. Thank you for voting and thank you for tuning in. If you haven't already, please click subscribe below to stay updated with future videos and I will speak to you guys next time. Bye.